Hello, good morning. This is Pastor John, and my message is I'm being censored. That's the word, censored. Um, I was approached last night by someone uh, who I share in their groups and was told not to post in their groups anymore because uh, I guess I'm offensive. Uh, I'm preaching my gospel. I always thought it was the gospel of Jesus Christ. I always thought God inspired me, told me what to say, put it on my heart, and the words flowed out of my fingers to the keyboards. And uh, that's how I do my sermons. Um, I don't pre-write anything or sit and uh, going through the Bible and looking up uh, a lot of Bible quotes. It's just the way I do it. I'm led by the Spirit of God. Everybody does it their way. This is how I do it my way. But I never thought that um, it was my teaching. It was always God's teaching. I know it is. I know it is. I know it comes straight from his heart to my heart. For the words that uh, come out of me do not come from me. No, I could never come up with such eloquent words, such beautiful words. Not to say that my <laughs> sermons are eloquent or beautiful or anything, but you know what I mean. Well, I take this from the Gospel of Matthew ten fourteen, where it says, "And who do whosoever shall not perceive nor hear your words when you depart out of that city, shake off the dust of that city." Amen. Bear with me this morning, folks. It's uh, been a long night. Uh, I am called to preach the word of God. If you don't want to hear it, I'll move on to another. That's just the way it is. We're in the last days of this earth, and I want to share the gospel with as many people as I can. I am called to do this. I am called to share the love of God with people, to be there to support people, um, to encourage people. I want people to come to me and uh, ask me questions. What um, is on their heart? I want them to share their feelings and their emotions and uh, their hurts so I can bring it to God, so I can bring it to Jesus in prayer. This is what I am here for, to spread his word, to tell the people of his soon return and coming, to share his love with the world, to support you, and to pray for you. Now, if this is something against the Bible that uh, somebody has to go to their elders of their group to straighten out and get an approval, that's okay. I'm not meant to be in that group then. God bless your group and move on and touch whosoever's, whoever hearts that you will. But I am called to say what God tells me to say, not to be censored. No, um, I think censorship is coming to Facebook in a way that's going to be um, felt by everyone who's on here. We are soon going to be told what we can say and what we can't say, uh, what we can preach and what we can't preach. Anything that people deem to be hatred will be cut off of Facebook. I truly believe that. And anything that has to do with repentance and quote unquote judging anybody for their sins will not be allowed on Facebook. So just uh, giving you a heads up on that. I really feel that that day is coming very soon. Uh, my sister told me next month, so we'll see. But uh, as long as I'm here on this site till they boot me off, and um, as long as I have breath in me, I will preach the cross of Jesus Christ. I will preach the words that God puts in my heart. I will let them flow unto you and if you want to hear i hope you get a blessing from them if you don't tune into somebody else but um i can tell you the truth i only speak the truth but the truth sets people free i don't want to sugarcoat anything or um go over uh things to make you think oh everything you do is all right no everything we don't do everything we don't do is all right um I'm not looking for a following. I'm looking for people to follow Jesus Christ. That's the only following I'm interested in. Um, and it's the same thing in my group, the Sackcloth Times. We are open to the gospel. We are open to people sharing what's going on in this world. 
we are open to people sharing their hearts how they feel about Jesus Christ. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with sharing what God puts in your heart. There's nothing wrong with making people aware of what's going on out there. There's nothing wrong with exposing false prophets. There are a lot of them on Facebook. Believe me, I can see when I go through the news feed. Got to scroll through her very quick sometimes. It's like, whoa, where did he come up with this thing at? Uh, prophetess, brother, Kabula, <laughs> whatever your names are. I tell you, this world's getting to be a dangerous place, folks. And um, seriously, Jesus is coming back soon. Is your heart right with him? I know I've been uh, messing up this sermon a little, but God... Uh, Put it in my heart to say these things to you, let you know uh, where I stand, and uh, I'm shaking my dust off of my feet. I don't want to carry that dust with me. Um, that dust tells me I'm not doing a good job for Jesus Christ, and uh, that dust could stay where it was at. I don't need to carry it with me. I know what I'm called to do. I'm called to preach the word in due season, in all seasons. So, to later on, if you still want to check me out, um, Pastor John checking out. Peace, joy, and love to you all. I really do love you, and uh, please, please come to me with your prayer requests. I love to share them with the Father. In Jesus' name, we'll see you next time. God bless. Double kiss.